Success is achieved and maintained by those who try and keep trying. W. Clement Stone. Let's take a look at the markets. Well, we see stocks are down decently for the day. We see bonds up some, gold down, and Bitcoin <clears throat> up about 4%. Let's jump into these charts and see what is going on. First thing we'll look at is the S&P 500 down 1.22%. Now, we've seen the two-day candle as it has been moving down. First day of the latest two-day candle, a green spinning, I'm sorry, red spinning top. Underneath the weekly trend line, we have a doji for the week right now. The weekly hasn't gone red. We do see that we're getting up close to average volume. That would be good to see if we hit that or higher and things went red. Might very well portend for us a down move. As we look at where things have been the last three weeks, we've had average volume. Even with the short week last week, we had average volume on the S&P 500. As we look at the half-day chart, we see how the market surged up in the morning and then down in the afternoon, hammering down with high volume. And we can see we're already well past the halfway point on the two-day candle, even though it's just the first day. So... It'll be interesting to see what happens on Friday, where that might lead us. Now, still long, though, but, but we are waiting and watching. Check out what's going on with the NASDAQ 100, the tech stocks, down even more. The S&P is down 1.22%. NASDAQ 100 down 1.53%. We have a red doji sitting just below the weekly trend line. And again, somewhat similar on the two-day candles. We see the prior two-day candle pushing through the weekly trend line. This one decently below it, red spinning top. And again, that surging up in the morning. And then the crazy volatility in the afternoon dropping all the way down to a low during the day, or during the afternoon alone, a 435.11 and a high of 447.53. So very interesting to see how things have been surging back and forth with all that volatility. So we will keep our eye on things. We also see on the NASDAQ that we haven't had the kind of volume that we had on the S&P. The max volume we saw most recently was in that ambivalent week with pretty much a doji, a red doji, red, very small spinning top on the week beginning the 11th of March. So again, We'll watch and see how things shape up tomorrow. Still long, both the S&P and the NASDAQ 100, but cautious. What's going on on 20-year bonds? Up some for the day. You can see where we had one, two and a half days of down movement. And then starting in the, after, in the morning uh, today, in the afternoon yesterday, we had a doji thing just sort of stopped. And then moving up some, Again, we have been very ambivalent on where 20-year bonds are. We haven't had any volume to back up any change as we've gone from uh, red to green to a doji to red to another doji to red. Just not much going on. Nothing to get us excited about wanting to put any kind of money into a practice trade. And again, remember, we're not a stock calling service. When an education firm wants you to practice with us, we are not paid to, nor do we give actual market advice. Let's look at where gold is. Down for the day, 0.57%, uh, so just a little over half a percent. But what a week it has been for gold. A low of 102.22, a high of, I'm sorry, two, let's see, a low of 201.22, a high of 213.45. So again, pulling back a little bit for the day, but gold has just been slamming up. Of course, we are still long gold. We'll see just how long this run will go. And of course, we talked to you about when all this was changing around, the possibilities, and I know we, I remember speaking also to the Patreon members very much so about GDX which is the gold miners, and uh, how they put GDW, GDX. And uh, as we look at the gold miners, of course, we have just seen those surging up since we had such a beautiful takeoff. 
I mean, we talked about this at the time. We had a red spinning top with higher than average volume, a classic bottom, and then turning around with a nice big green up candle and then just a hammering up, up, up. Just absolutely beautiful. And again, things moving in the right direction for gold. Of course, it was expected and it has been happening. We're still long gold. What do we see going on with Bitcoin? It is up for the day. We saw Bitcoin pulling down on Monday and really on Tuesday morning, then sliding sideways on Wednesday. I think it was down a little bit. And then, of course, on Thursday, moving up some, still below the weekly trend line. Two day is also below the weekly trend line. Have a little green candle forming there. Up for the day, 3.97%. Have a hard time telling you what's really happening with Bitcoin. This is no pattern whatsoever. We had that peak back on the week beginning the 11th of March, then a doji, then a green up candle, got nowhere near the prior high, and then a spinning top this week, and not really much of a trend line to call anything. So we're waiting, watching, seeing what HODL, which is the Bitcoin ETF managed by Van Eck. So that is where we are. As we end Thursday, remember, Patreon members, I'm working on right now your weekly vertical crossovers. I have zero going up for you this week. I'm working on the down moves right now. As you know, we scan the entire S&P 500 each and every week, and we provide you with weekly vertical crossovers where there are none going up. So that gives you a little hint as to where the overall market might be, at least on the S&P 500, which, of course, are 500 huge stocks and companies and sort of what the feel of the market is right now. And I will be pumping that out to you in an email. And also remember, Patreon members, everything that we produce, we already put up the uh, charting cryptos, commodities and currencies and the three wave trades. We put all that up at least yesterday. And that all goes up at the Patreon page. And then we send you out that email with everything including the weekly vertical crossovers, which we also put up on the Patreon page every week on Thursday. So if you don't, for some reason, get the email, if it goes to your spam box or you're just not able to access your emails, always go to our Patreon page. God bless my friends. All the best from the whole team at Charting Wealth World Headquarters.